Hello everyone, my name is Nikoya, and this is Minecraft, and hopefully my frames per second are doing okay, I'm having a little trouble with that today. Uh, as you may notice, I'm on a uh, different map today than my last video, uh, not that I showed you much of my last map, but uh, the reason for this is that I have a big project, which is what I'm standing on right now, and it is a seven-segment hey. display, and as you can see, I have a 4-bit binary input here. We have bit 0, 1, 2, and 3, and I will quickly run through uh, all the numbers we can generate for you. So we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven and eight, nine, and of course this is also a hexadecimal display, and so we can get A, B, C, D, E, and of course F for fifteen. Now, uh, as you can see here, I chose to do a uh, flush display, thus the uh, zigzags on the side here, because you can't really do it vertically when you're doing it flush. Uh, it's just an aesthetic choice for, my, for me. I kind of like being able to see it at an angle, although I box it in here to increase the contrast, so hopefully it shows up on the video. Now, as I was running through the numbers, you might have noticed that uh, this segment on the side here was... Um, only activating when the two uh, segments adjoining it uh, were active, and that is achieved around back here uh, through this uh, fancy wiring on the side. So you can see that um, all the wiring comes back in here, uh, all nicely color coded. Uh, the orange are the signals coming from the far side of the, all this circuitry here. Uh, the yellows are just normal wiring. Uh, purple I use for gates. Uh, green I use up here for driving the signals. And red is insulation to keep different segments from joining up when they shouldn't be. Obviously, this is on, this is off. Uh, so as you can see here, the horizontal segments are a little bit finicky because you can't have you know three pieces of redstone next to each other all driving into the blocks in front of them. You have to separate them out. I did that using the uh, repeater here. Uh, and this is, of course, driven by this redstone torch, which is just a double inverter stack. If you can uh, see down below here, we just have an inverter and another inverter. Now, the side wiring, what I've done here is I've taken the signal from uh, the upper and lower side segments, and through this wiring here, I've ORed them together to drive this one uh, segment just here. And so that way, uh, of course, this uh, wiring on the back is inverted from what's on the front. And so right now, these two segments are off. And so um, when this segment is off, it keeps this torch off. Or when this segment is off, it keeps this torch off. And now, if you remember your Boolean algebra, uh, you remember that an OR gate is, in fact, dual of an AND gate. And so that means that on the front, if this segment is on and this segment is on, then this light will be on here. Uh, so that's uh, sort of a little fancy way of achieving a nice smooth line up the center instead of having a little notch here. Now it doesn't look really great on the aid. It kind of makes it little, look a little chubby. I can show you that. Uh, you may have noticed it sort of looks a little fat. It'd be nice if that segment wasn't lit up, but I'd have to make some more circuitry to detect when I'm displaying an 8, especially versus when I'm displaying an A instead, and I just didn't really feel like that. Because the interesting part of this is actually the driver circuit back here, and I will go up top to get you a little bird's eye view of that. Now, you may have seen other... Uh, other seven-segment seven drivers on the net, which uh, do things in a much simpler way. Um, I chose not to do it that way because, of course, I am a mathematician, and I just like doing things the fun way where I learn how to do different things. And the thing I was uh, aiming to learn here was the use of the Quine-McCluskey algorithm for reducing uh, uh, the complexity of logic. And now, you might look at this and say, well, come on, Nikoya, that logic is obviously much more complex than what I've seen in other ones, but um, 
this is actually much less complex than what you'd get if you just took sort of a naive approach to things and just uh, tried to decode these lines manually into uh, each segment driver. Now, um, if you notice from up there, I actually had uh, seven different segments are separated by these uh, gray walls here. And you can see this is the driving circuit for the uh, lower left segment. And I made a little sign here to remind myself what the actual uh, logical equation is for that that's actually driving this. And you can see that we have A naught or B naught and C naught. All this together ended with D or with A naught, B uh, and C naught. And we can show you this, uh, just walk you through this real quickly. This one here we can see we have uh, C coming in here. Uh, that line is actually a... Um, that will be a B. So we have B naught and C naught. This is an AND gate. It doesn't really look like it because usually you're used to an AND gate looking like this. But because both of the inputs are inverting in this case, we don't actually need the inversion on the input of the AND gate. Uh, so we can see that we have our, our B naught and our C naught here. Uh, our A comes in uh, this way. Actually, that was an A naught, I believe. Yes, that was an A naught. Comes in this way. They're ordered together just by the redstone into this AND gate, which ANDs it with our D input. And we can see the other half of this A naught, B, C naught is done through just this straightforward uh, three input uh, AND gate, where this is a straight input, the other two are inverting inputs. These are ordered together, and then it comes here and drives the lower left segment. Uh, now, I should explain a little bit about what Quine McCluskey is. Um, basically, if you took um, all four input lines and all seven uh, output segments and you drew up a truth table for uh, whichever inputs you care about, I did it for obviously all 15 hexadecimal inputs. You might want to do it only for the uh, 10 uh, decimal inputs, 0 through 9. Uh, you draw up a truth table of all those inputs, all the outputs you care about. Uh, trying to translate that into actual logic can be a bit daunting. Uh, now, most, uh, most times uh, what you see people do is they actually break out into 10 or 16 or however many different um, essentially separate decimal lines. Uh, and then from there, they'll have uh, they'll select which outputs they want to drive from each line. Uh, but for mine, what I did, of course, was I did. Uh, excuse me a second. <coughs> I'm doing good at coughing on these videos. Uh, what I did instead is I separated each of the seven segments and drew up a a uh, separate um, uh, logical. Uh, I can see I've. I'm going a bit long here. The sun's starting to set. I drew up a separate logical function for each of the four inputs and one output. I made up, of course, seven different fun uh, seven different functions, functions, one for each of the segments. And then what I did is I, of course, used the uh, the Quine-McCluskey algorithm to reduce these uh, equations. Uh, these functions into a more manageable uh, size, and then, uh, of course, um, oh, you can see I had to uh, use a. This is actually XOR here. Uh, that's an XOR gate. I didn't obviously have the right uh, character for an XOR there. Anyways, you use the um, uh, the Quine-McCluskey algorithm to basically reduce the redundancy out of your equation, and then from there. Uh, you go ahead and uh, do some regular factoring. And what I'm going to do, instead of trying to explain this to you verbally or trying to like draw it out or something, I will just link you to the article that I read uh, that explained it very well of how to go through and uh, turn the dang it, turn the um, uh, your logical uh, equation into a reduced form and to uh, how to um, well, it doesn't really explain how to do the factoring, but it's just, you know, factoring like you do in any other, uh, any other um, um, expression. Uh, so uh, I will hopefully link to you that in the uh, description of this uh, video. I hope you've uh, sort of enjoyed my abbreviated um, show of this. Uh, Ooh, I'm good at this. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, little sort of walkthrough of um, my seven segment display. If you would like the uh, the map file here if, to explore it on your own and sort of take a little more time to uh, actually figure out how all these work uh, bit by bit, which of course I don't really have. I mean, you don't want to sit through an hour of me blabbing away of each gate here. 
uh, just leave a comment. I will look into uh, perhaps hosting this somewhere. And if that's so, I will update the description with where this is hosted. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this. And I will see you guys on the next video.